Hey, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be doing another intro to bass guitar. Got this lovely four string here. I think it's an Ibanez. What is it? Yep. It's a Geo Ibanez. Love the brand. Let's get this all started. So pretty much what you do is the same as guitar whenever it comes to tuning. Here's my E string. Here is my A string. Here's my D string. And here's my G string. So it's all the same tuning as your top four on a guitar, pretty much. And instead of plucking like you normally would with a guitar, kind of more so with your thumb, we're going to use our fingertips. And you're going to plant your thumb either on one of the pickups or the string that you're trying to mute and hit the other string under it, you know. Kind of helps you mute the strings. And then you could probably use your palm to mute the other way around if you were to go up. And I'm fairly familiar with bass. I got about at least six years of bass under my belt. I'd say minimum. So it's not like I'm not familiar with it. There's still some things I'm still learning about it because, you know, you're always learning whenever you're playing music. It's just a constant learning thing. So like I was saying, you just strum like this instead of down like a guitar or a ukulele. And you kind of get that walk right here with your two fingers. And then there's also, you can use a guitar pick. So let me see if I have one in my pocket. No, I don't. But that's typically what I use when I'm recording my songs for, you know, my Project Omniverse, Sailing Away, Apothecary, all that stuff. I record with a pick most of the time. It's just easier for me personally. And I can really dig in and get the chunkiness of the bass. Well, there you go. There's just like a little quick video. Same thing, you know, parts wise as your guitar. Here's your headstock, your neck with your fretboards on it. Counting one through whatever. I think it's 19 on this. Let me see, 15, 17, 19, 20. Ooh, this one goes to 22. That's pretty nice. And then I believe some of them do go to 24 as well. Just like on a guitar or whatever. You've got your pickups down here. These are some interesting ones. I like how it's set up. No switch to, you know, control your pickups. It's really just all one thing. And then you have your overdrive, two overdrives, your tone and your volume knobs, if I'm not mistaken, because I have four knobs right here. Most of them is going to have two, but if you have like an overdrive, it's going to have four. I think some of them may even have three, but I'm gonna double check on that one. And I'll show you guys uh, the octaves for the tuning for bass, because even though it is the same as the top four on a guitar, it's a different octave. It's not as high up as a guitar's octave would be. You guys have a great day. I hope this kind of helped out in some way for an intro, and I'll do more very soon.